G'day, Daniel Kazunas here, back working on the amphibious boat. So those who saw the test drive last time would have seen the outboard was really hard to get going and barely went. The other motor stopped running. I've actually, I actually got it fired back up and it runs all right. But the other problem I've always had with this is it doesn't idle all that well. So I have to have the idle high, which lets the clutch always move a little bit. It's a trifical clutch. So then it also, it makes it hard to shift gears when you're going slowly, but I might have a solution to everything. Mate, Sean hooked me up with this motor. Uh, it's a 15 horse Kawasaki, but it's a V-twin. Vertical drive, but I think I can make it work. The drive motor's out, the outboard's off. The motor's just sitting there, but it just looks like it belongs there, doesn't it? So this gearbox here actually is supposed to run this way. So if I run a belt from the motor, put this gearbox over here, then I can still drive. And then I can run an outboard lower off this shaft down here maybe. Pretty complicated, but let's see if I can make it happen. Motor mounted up kind of where I wanted. The slots here. So the belt was going to feed off the clutch and come out here to this pulley but it's a long way for a belt to go and also belts can slip and carry on so i might change it to a chain drive so now i've got to try and make this sprocket fit on here so somehow bore this out but i know it's going to be hard as so i'm just going to cut it in half and then grind it out and then weld it back together but the wife says i've got to stop burning my shorts so Sprocket's now mounted on that clutch. I'm gonna run the chain through like this to the gearbox is roughly mounted. I can't run the next chain because this here is on an angle. And I've tried putting this on an angle, but I can't really do that. So I'm gonna to have to cut into the transom and tweak it down. Okay, I've cut around there so I can straighten it out. I've mounted the gearbox in place, put a few braces in, put the chain in loosely. Next thing I've got to do is take this brace out, drill holes in it and slot it so I can adjust this chain by moving the motor back and forth. So the engine mounts back in here now, I've made these little gussets here that I can use to push the whole frame back to tighten it. I've got some slots under here, packer welded in so I can move that back. So what I've got now is the um, lower off an outboard, it's actually a 6 horsepower so hopefully it can handle 15. And I'm trying to work out how to connect this to the main motor drive and it also has to move out of the way so this is tricky too.
All right, we've got the uh, outboard lower mounted on there. So just got a universal here, and then this pivot is the same as what the universal is. So that can hopefully move up out of the way. And when the axle's all the way up, it'll go all the way down. I've just got to trim this back a little bit. I'm trying to get this running again. I'm trying to hook up the electric start. I've got this old mower solenoid, but I can't get it to work. Found this little one here though. That one seems to work. All right, got that dodgely wired up. Let's see if it works. Yes. Okay, this engine's got a little pulse pump on it. So I just swipe one of these fittings out of this old outboard, put that on there so I can use the boat fuel tank. Working, but it's pretty wild. The chain just flaps around like crazy. Oh, it's gone loose already. Bolts have wound undone. Done. Oh, I forgot to put nuts on. That's that doesn't help. So it all works fine, but the chain just dances around like crazy. Um, I'll put cover and everything over it eventually, but I might put a bit of a chain tensioner slash slider. I've got these old chopping boards. I might just make that rub on the chain like that, have it under load, so I'll make a little bracket down here. Right, it's talky time. That works a little bit, but the core of the problem is when I cut this sprocket in half, I've welded it slightly off, off center, so the chain's binding up as it goes around, so I'll be able to fix that up with a grinder. A lot of people have said, put the tires on backwards or use paddle tires to go faster in the water, but paddle tires are really slow in the water. If you've seen like Robbie Madison or remote control cars, they go real fast, you can drive onto the water and you can sit on top of the water and maintain your speed but as soon as you stop they cavitate and go slowly so you can't start off and get back up onto the plane the other option is a track a snowmobile goes really well on the water they can't stop from a standstill either they can they work a lot better though because there's a bigger surface area this outboard lower with the universal is just sort of a proof of concept because this is only a six horsepower motor and the motor's got 15 so it'll probably blow it pretty quickly but i want to see if it works before i go and get a lower that'll handle it so this really has turned into a bit of a major changing the motor running both the water drive and the wheel drive off the same engine is difficult to do but it's happening so what has been achieved I weighed this motor 35 kilos the wheel drive motor that came out was 32 kilos the outboard was 50 kilos and we're gonna have way more room inside now I'll just make this into a seat so I can drive in the same position this machine is really going to be awesome once it's going properly. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.